Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d and if you're an office worker like me, but you're a blender person like me, and you want to try and merge these th two things together, SharePoint Spaces can help. So this is a Microsoft product, so if your company has Office 365, we can actually make, you know, these 3D environments in the the work workplace. But I don't know what to say. So we can interact with images, you know, we can put in 3D models and so on and so forth. So, you know, there's things you can think about. Um, you don't have to have just the one space, you can kind of jump along between other spaces and so on and so forth. But what I'm going to show you now is a very brief overview on what you can do in SharePoint Spaces. And in a later video, I will show you how to make 3D models in Blender, export, import it into Unreal, Unreal Engine, into SharePoint Spaces. So make sure you subscribe. Let's go check this stuff out. So to enable SharePoint Spaces, just jump into the uh, Office 365 portal on SharePoint. Obviously, I can't spell SharePoint, but that's fine. I work in IT, not spelling. Mm. Now, unless this is blocked by group policy or something, anyone can activate this. So click on settings, site information, view all site settings, manage site features under site actions. And then we scroll down to the bottom ish. We got spaces and let's click activate. Cool beans. Now that should be activated down here. It's active. So let's head back into our SharePoint. From here, we go back into home. We create new, and then we got space. From here, we can pick which um, environment we want. Now, unfortunately, we can't change this environment because SharePoint spaces is still pretty limited. But let's just go with the terrace, just so we've got kind of like a floor plane and going Markham 3D. I, once again, terrible spelling. And here we are in our environment. Sick. From here, we can go into space design and we can put in our background images. So this one here looks fancy, done. Obviously we can come into images and we can do custom 360 files. So we can put in our own HDRIs. So if you've got a 360 camera, take a photo of your office space and put it in the background. Down here, ambient sounds. Now I recommend that you do not put in ambient sounds. Don't, no. Because if you go away from SharePoint Spaces, that ambient sound will continue to play and it'll bug a lot of people. And it just means that you've actually got to download a little bit extra in the background. So let's close that. Let's click the plus sign. From here, we can go ahead and start adding some cool stuff. So for instance, 3D objects come down and we've got to place it. And then we can go into the 3D catalog. And so we can actually make our own models now being blender people ole however i'll show you that in a different video so make sure you subscribe and then you'll see when that comes out but we can grab in space um you know i think this guy here is animated so this icon down the bottom here means animated insert and then i believe that he just kind of floats there and then we can go to town plus you know throw in an image I don't really have any images, do I? Stock image, whatever. There we go, insert. And then what we can actually do is we can select this. Now we've got these options down the bottom here. So coming down to the angle down the bottom here, the when we spawn into this environment, we will be at zero. So if I make this zero, this will be the first thing that people see is this image. Obviously we can make it bigger. Can I just click and drag? I sure can, sick. And then we can just click and drag, move it all around, make this guy bigger. And so we can do very simple stuff. That's cute, what else can we do? So if we select this image and come into the edit section, we can come down here and on trigger. So when we select the image, it'll inspect. So what that'll do is when I go publish, yeah, yeah, ding dong. We press it and then it kind of comes to the forefront. However, I don't want it to come to the forefront. I want it to come and open up another page. So let's go into edit, select our image, that one. And we're gonna go add action, link to a page or item. And we'll go to from a link and we'll put that one in, insert. So now when we go to publish and we click on it, we've got the option to go down or go to our link. However, if we don't want to inspect, Let's just go back into edit mode, select our image, edit, 
trigger. Let's remove that. We actually have to remove this one, add on trigger. So when we click on it, link page or item from a site, let's go to there, insert, publish. We jump over into Markham 3 d second channel. Ole, go subscribe to that link in the description. But here, you know, we can create graphs and stats and so on and so forth. And it's just kind of more of it, more of an interactive web page that we can do here. Now in the next video, we will do how to create your own models in Blender and bring them across. It's actually not a simple process. It's actually kind of yuck. And there's th certain things we have to do to get it working.